Hey what's up guys and welcome to this week's Team of the Week predictions. How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. There's going to be a FIFA Ultimate Team birthday promo in the coming week. So I am expecting there to be a very good Team of the Week um, announced in the next two or three days. Anywho, I'm thinking about doing like a competition giveaway kind of thing in these videos in the future. So basically you guys comment your predictions and if you better my score, I'll give away some PlayStation or Xbox codes. So uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. Last week on Wednesday, I actually did pick up Inform Mbappé Otten and I was trying to get a review out for you guys, but I just haven't had time to finish it. So that might be out in the next few days. We'll have to see how busy I am. I've got a lot of videos to make this week, so we'll see what I can do with that. Anywho, in the comments below, let me know who you think will get an inform in this week's Team of the Week predictions. Also, if you leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. Let's get in to my predictions. So yeah, let's get in to my predictions. We start off with Subasic of Croatia and of course, AS Monaco. He made four saves in a 1-0 win for Croatia against Ukraine. It wasn't easy picking goalkeepers this week. I don't expect to get the goalkeepers right, but um, you know, we'll see what happens. Lukas Piszczek got himself a goal in a 2-1 win for Poland. That might be enough to see him getting in form this week. We'll have to wait and see. David Zappacosta got himself an assist in a 2-0 win for Italy. An assist and a clean sheet could be enough to see this man get his first in form of FIFA 17. Jonas Hector got himself two assists in a 4-1 win for Germany over Azerbaijan. This would be a second in form and it would be freaking awesome if it did indeed happen. Moving on now to a player who absolutely loves an international break. I swear every year Sigerson gets an inform from the international break and this time round could be no exception. He got himself a goal and an assist in a 2-1 win for his side against Kosovo. And now we come on to one that I'm not confident about but it might happen. We'll just have to wait and see. Thiago got himself two assists in a win for Spain. It was a 4-1 win over Israel. I don't know if two assists is going to be enough for such a high rated player. But like I said, with it being foot birthday and um, promo this week, it might be enough. We'll have to see what EA do. Andreas Scherler got himself two goals and an assist in that 4-1 win for Germany over Azerbaijan. I didn't know who to drop out of Hector and Scherler, so I just went for both. So, um, yeah, maybe we'll get both. Who knows? Moving on to the other wing now. As you can see, I've gone for an inform Neymar. Now, I'm not confident about it, but... You know, like I said numerous times now, with the promos coming out, EA might want some big players in packs. Neymar would certainly fill that category. He got a goal and an assist in a 4-1 win for Brazil against Uruguay. In that game, Paulino got a hat-trick. He's not in the game, sadly. I think Miranda got an assist as well. Um, so maybe he could get an inform. But um, I'm actually going to go for a Neymar. And uh, maybe it'll happen. Maybe it will happen. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Anyway, moving on to another player who loves the international break. It's Dusan Tadic who got a goal and two assists in a 3-1 win for Serbia over Georgia. And now up front, we've got a potential Arsenal in form, which definitely would not have been possible without the international break because lately, Arsenal have been crap. And it's not been fun to watch as a fan. Anyway, Giroud could get a second in form this week. He got two goals in a 3-1 win for France against Luxembourg. Do you remember the multiple times that I've told you that EA might go big for this week's Team of the Week because of the promos? Yeah, I'm going to throw an inform Ronaldo into that mix. He got himself two goals in a 3-0 win for Portugal. Now, I don't know whether he played left wing or striker, so I don't know what he'll be released as if he gets the inform, but it could just be that it's a re-release of one of his previous informs with a position change because... Um, yeah, you just never know what EA are going to do with these high-rated cards. So once again, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. Anyway, guys, that is my prediction for the starting 11. There'll probably be a centre-back, but um, I've just got so many wing-backs down this week. Let's get on to the bench and reserves. We start off with Capino of Greece. He made four or five saves in their 1-1 draw with Belgium. And he also made like two or three like wonder saves in that game. So um, that might be enough to see him getting in form. But once again... When it came to goalkeeper candidates this week, I just really didn't know who to go for. Gebre Solesi is up next. He got a goal and an assist in a 6-0 win for the Czech Republic. And that win was against San Marino. Carlos Vega got himself two assists in a 2-0 win for Mexico over Costa Rica. And then we come on to this man, which by the way, I hope this inform happens because it would be great. I think he, uh, Pulisic played like a centre mid slash cam roll for the, uh, the US. And in that game, he got a goal and two assists in a 6-0 win over Honduras. So hopefully, Honduras, sorry. Um, so hopefully this inform happens because it just looks really good, doesn't it? I mean, like, bang that centre forward or striker. 
That's a really good card. Moving on to another Bundesliga player, we've got Forsberg, who is just on fire this year. Two goals for him in, um, I believe it was a 4-0 win over Belarus or Sweden. Senk Tossen of Basiktas and Turkey, he scored twice in a 2-0 win for Turkey against Finland. Ibisic, another Bundesliga player, got two goals in a 5-0 win for Bosnia. Nicolas Patola got himself a goal and two assists in a 3-1 win for his team. Chris Tyranny in the MLS got a goal and assist in a 5-2 win. Kubo got himself a goal and an assist in a 2-0 win for Japan. We come on next to Delev who got himself two goals in a win over Holland. And finally, we've got Santalev who got himself a hat-trick in a 3-1 win over Melbourne City. I've only just realised I've missed out Clint Dempsey who got a hat-trick in that win for the US of A. Um, so I probably would put him in over... I don't know who I'd put him in over. I really don't know. It'd probably have to be one of the Silvers that I'm just less confident about. Like Bertola might get ignored because of his league. So um, yeah, I am expecting an informed Clint Dempsey as well. So bear that in mind. Anyway, now we'll wrap it up. Thanks for watching, guys, as always. In the comments below, let me know who you think will get an inform. If you leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch you in the next one.